Hi everyone and um, welcome to this very special edition of uh, Curators Discuss here at Golden Thread Gallery. Um, I'm joined this week by uh, Sarah McGavra, the Deputy Director of Golden Thread Gallery and Peter Richards, the Director of the Gallery. Um, both Sarah and myself are remote and Peter's actually in the gallery as you can see. Um, this is actually the final episode of this particular series but we're very excited to announce that we'll be continuing the sessions uh, coming into the summer so definitely stay tuned for updates on that. So Peter and Sarah are just gonna get uh, started. Um, so I wonder if you could uh, start with a discussion about each of your curatorial styles and how they maybe uh, differ or inform each other. And um, maybe Sarah, you could sort of begin with that. Okay, um, I think my style has very much been informed by the fact that I'm a viewer. I'm not an artist myself. And whenever I'm looking at an exhibition, I'm always looking for the story and it's the same whenever I'm creating a show I look to see where the stories are and all maybe the multitude of stories that may be there and um, where I think to me I often find that Peter's approach can be more rooted in art theory and he maybe starts with a theory and builds around it and um, I've been really lucky within the gallery and I've worked with such a range of artists a lot of them emerging or mid-career artists and part of the process has involved mentoring and really getting to know the artists and getting to understand their work which has really been a lot of fun and one of the best parts of working at the gallery. So Peter do you want to kind of chat a little bit about your sort of similarities or differences? <laughs> yeah I, I think that you know I hadn't ever intended to uh, be involved with curating. It was only through working as an artist and then having the opportunity to work within artist run that I've kind of formed this interest. And then I've, I've kind of really seen it as an extension of practice where the creation of an exhibition is really setting up a context or a framework that uh, houses a conversation. So, yeah, it's a temporary realization of a thought or a moment in a way so i've really really had uh, wonderful opportunities to test this way of working out and work with yeah like sarah says very many wonderful artists along, over the years okay um and then i suppose kind of leading on from that um maybe sarah you could talk a little bit about what you think are the kind of major successes of the gallery to date or any kind of standout shows that you think are worth mentioning? Oh, there's so many. Um, I think being biased, I think there's so many wonderful shows that we've done. Um, but I think for me, like 2009 really stands out as a year um, because of two shows in particular. Um, one of which was Isolated and the other one was Agent Absurd. Um, and I think both of them stood out, not just because they were memorable, but because the, the themes, I really think Peter did an amazing job in curating them. You know, when something stays with you from over 10 years ago, then I think you know that you've got a success on your hands. So well done to Peter on those ones. Well, I think the, I think the, um, the isolated really came out of those conversations we were having back when we were up in on the Crumlin Road and talking to the residents who were part, taking part in our outreach activities. And it was from those conversations where this idea grew out. And it provided a great opportunity to uh, have artists from here work on specific projects, but then bring in that wonderful work. You know, Anna Connick's work was in the show, the Cecily Brennan piece was phenomenal. And, and just to get to show Guy Benio's work was fantastic so you know and then agent absurd we got to work with monica and galleria arsenal in biostop and it was just fantastic yeah yeah they're both great members yeah and then i think i stated oh sorry sorry mary <laughs> i was just going to say so particularly pertinent at the moment when we're all in you know we've all been facing isolation we've all been stuck in the house that actually revisiting a show where like that was very much the feature for the artist I mean particularly yeah, Guy Benner's work you know on his own little island and um, Cecily Brennan's kind of looking at the mental isolation and where where that can lead you know her piece the suicide cuffs is you know again a, a work that stays with you for a lifetime after you've viewed it yeah yeah 
So, um, but also I've really enjoyed the opportunities we've had to take exhibitions from uh, of this region to, around the world. You know, we've had many wonderful opportunities to take particular exhibitions. We, we got to take an exhibition over to Biostock, but we've, you know, we've gone as far as the north, the northeast of China and down into Taiwan. In fact, no, we were quite big in Taiwan for a while. It's been, and that's, I suppose, because of the context we find ourselves in, you know, Taiwan's relationship to Japan and China and our relationship to London and Dublin in this place at this time. So it's very, you know, really rich conversations and parallel discussions. And we've been able to work with artists from around the world and get to work with institutions and curators and build up, I suppose, friendships and a network that's been really amazing. I suppose it goes back to that piece in um, the Agent of Search Show by the Azoro group, it's all been done before, um, which I think both of us refer to repeatedly. Yeah, well, I, I see it as a, as, a, as a freeing kind of instinct, you know I mean? If you think everything's being done, then you go back to Capro's, if you do something and do it again when you've done something new or you've done something different. So I just see it as being freeing. I don't have to worry about re repetition, in fact, a number of our exhibitions have featured works that we've shown on many occasions. And in fact, I've shown that last one of the Collective Histories uh, exhibitions, I got to show works in the same spot that they'd been shown in previous shows, but alongside works from other shows. So as to collapse history and create multiple sense of deja vu, which I really enjoyed. Okay. And the very first show actually that we did in, in the Grip Patrick street space, things, things you may have missed back in 2007. Um, well, that, that exhibition was, was great in terms of, it showed us or our approach to some of the artworks and artists we'd worked with up until that point and how in our heads, even if not physically, we saw those works as being part of this collective collection that we never had, but yeah. we could draw upon when was ne when it was needed and, and and we've continued to work that way over the years and that's leading us on to our next project i think yeah and it's sort of informing what we're, what we're moving into now yeah absolutely because when you know looking at having a collection of northern irish work of course it's going to be informed by works not just works that we've shown but works that we've had an attachment to or works that we've referenced you know throughout all of our many years of gallery mm -hmm. But I think as well, the way we're approaching that is kind of, yeah, it's kind of embodies the way in which we work. It is quite a collective, we're working actively to create a collective collection. So, so to kind of set up another way of building a collection that will serve this region rather than it being one curatorial view. There'll be ours and then there'll be the curators who come in to help advise and shape, especially that initial purchasing and working with artists. But then also we're going to open up to artists to collaborate to, and to collectors and to the public to work with us in, in growing this collection into being something that really serves this region going forward. So lots of exciting conversations to come up on that. Um, so yeah, thank you both so much um, for this. Um, and um, hopefully, hopefully everyone has enjoyed this at home. Um, and join us for our new series in the summer. Okay. Mary, thank you very much. You've done a great job. Thank you, Peter. Thank you, Sarah. <laughs> Bye. See you soon. Bye, Sarah.